Hey everyone, I'm here at Apple's WWDC and I just got a quick look at the Mac Pro. Now it's the new Mac Pro, they haven't refreshed it for five years, so it's a radical change. Everything about it is basically different and it looks, well, interesting. I kind of like the design, but a lot of jokes have been going around calling it a cheese grater. And you know, yes, it does very much look like a cheese grater. I said it on Twitter myself. So that aside, everything about it is just insane. It is a 28 core Intel Xeon processor that's inside, along with up to 1.5 terabytes of RAM, along with up to four terabytes of internal storage. Now, all of that is the highest end model. The standard version will come with a eight core Intel Xeon processor, as well as 256 gigs of internal storage and 32 gigs of RAM. So the Mac Pro is a modular device. There's a D latch at the top that lets you rotate it and you can lift it up. And that gives you 360 access to all the internal components of the Mac Pro. So there's things like the MPX in there. Basically that is the video card and it comes with, the, the highest model comes with the AMD Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo, that's two of them, and that gives you an amazing 28 teraflops of graphics performance. Basically, it's just super powerful. And uh, the standard one will be a 580X Radeon processor. Now, there's also a afterburner, and that basically is for pro video editing. Apple says that with the afterburner, you can get three 8K streams going along uh, while you're video editing, or 12 4K streams which is just like an insane amount if you think about it. Basically, this whole thing is a workhorse of a machine. Onto the ports, there are two USB-A ports, four Thunderbolt 3 ports with the top and two at the back, as well as two 10 gigabit Ethernet ports, as well as a 1.4 kilowatt power supply unit, and of course there is a headphone jack. Now, for the actual Mac Pro, it comes in a rack version, so you can do it, use it as a rack. Uh, you can also attach wheels to the bottom of it, so you can just roll it around. And of course, the base model is gonna cost you $5,999. Dollars, and if you, of course, get those other uh, different types of uh, processing power, or you know, you get the higher storage amounts, that's going to just cost you more. We're expecting the Mac Pro to arrive in the fall. Now onto the Pro Display XDR. This is a beautiful, beautiful screen. It's something I really want after just spending a minutes just looking at it. It's extremely colorful, extremely sharp, and that's because it's a 6K screen, 32 inches, and it's 40% larger than the 5K iMac. So basically you're getting a lot more screen real estate and it's just much sharper. But the spotlight is on the XDR, that means extreme dynamic range as opposed to HDR. Basically for extreme contrast, you need extreme brightness. So Apple has added an array of blue LEDs to crank the display's brightness up to 8,000 nits. Now that's pretty amazing already, but the peak is actually 1,600 nits. So again, insanely bright display, which is perfect for people that need it for their workflow. Now it's really thick also if you look at it from the side, and on the back you're getting that similar lattice design as the Mac Pro for heat dissipation. And the screen has things like 1 million to 1 contrast ratios and support for P3 and 10-bit true color. There's Thunderbolt 3 support as well, and something else I wanted to mention is on the front, instead of you adding a normal matte display like some companies do, Apple is using nanotechnology manufacturing to etch the screen itself to get that matte design. Now there's also a metal stand and there's a counterbalance basically that lets you uh, easily lift and lower the screen. You can also tilt it, a lot of various adjustments you can make. You can also detach the monitor from it for easy transportation. Now the stand actually uh, doesn't come with the screen, so it's gonna cost you an extra $999. And of course, you can also rotate the screen to portrait for when you're editing you know, portrait photos or something like that. And if you're wondering why we didn't really get to move or, or I didn't show you anything about moving the screen or anything like that, that's because Apple was very restrictive as to what we could do. We couldn't touch the screens at all, so we were unable to basically see exactly how the counterbalance worked and how that stand worked really, uh, or really even just touch the screen just, just to get a sense of it. But uh, it certainly looked very, very well made and just, again, gorgeous. Screen will be available for a starting price of $4,999 and it will also, like the Mac Pro, be available later this fall.